Is your establishment bursting with tourist potential but is not actually optimized? Do you need dependable data to better manage your resources, staff, and facilities? Do you need reliable facts and figures to better market your accommodation facility and plan your future expansion or improvement? Achieving great success in your business relies on the availability of information, data, and statistics which currently are in your hands. The Department of Tourism and the Japan International Cooperation Agency have recently collaborated to undertake a three-year technical cooperation program on the development of tourism statistics system. The project is aimed at developing and improving existing institutional mechanisms for collection, compilation, recording, and analysis of data. It seeks to provide a uniform format among stakeholders in the tourism industry to gather, report, and share information. The tourism statistics system involves the participation of all accommodation establishments, local government units, and the Department of Tourism. The system starts with you in all accommodation establishments by collecting the information from the guests or visitors staying in your facility and compiling them on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. This data are vital to you to be able to track down your performance, determine seasonality, and properly adjust your pricing, marketing, and operational costs. More than anything, the collection of data will surely help your accommodation establishment to manage your human resource and facilities. This refers to pinpointing areas for improvement either in your staff or facilities for future expansion and development to meet the demands of your market. Help you generate data essential for market research, investment, and promotion. This applies to tracking performance and baseline information, which are required by banks for any loan application or by the national and local government agencies for any support. However, such data is not only limited for these purposes. The said information needs to be shared with the city or municipal government in your area for better assessment of the performance of your locality as a tourist destination, while at the same time determining the requisite infrastructure, transportation, and environment policies that will support the growth and expansion of tourism in your area. In return, the city or municipal government will prepare an industry report that will be shared with accommodation establishments. The data you share is also used by the provincial government to better plan the development of tourism products, activities, and events, as well as marketing your locality as a top tourist destination. The provincial government will share their development plans with the municipalities and cities. The Department of Tourism will use the data you share to produce a compendium of destination tourism statistics. These statistics will be utilized in policy and decision-making for the development and improvement of tourism in your area, as well as for marketing and investment promotion. The Department of Tourism will then disseminate the Compendium of Tourism Statistics to local government units and accommodation establishments and conduct user forums. As the primary source of data, your participation is a key factor for the creation and standardization of a local tourism statistics system. Rest assured that the data, statistics, and information that you'll be sharing will only be used for statistical analysis. Your identity will be codified to ensure anonymity and confidentiality. There are two types of data that you, the accommodation establishment, must collect and compile, namely, supply data and demand data. Supply data are information pertaining to the products and services offered by accommodation establishments to tourists. These include the following, number of rooms and number of employees. These data are submitted annually or when changes occur in your facility pertaining to this information. Submission of data may also coincide with the yearly application for business permits or tourism certification in your local government. 
demand data or information pertaining to the behavior of the tourists and what they need and seek for in an accommodation establishment. These includes the following. Total number of guests checked in, total guest nights, total number of rooms occupied, and guests by country of residence. Recommended forms have been developed jointly by the DOT and JICA to provide ease and comfort for you to fill up. However, accommodation establishments with existing database system may continue to use their own system, provided that the relevant data are incorporated therein. To illustrate how to record and compile the demand data in accommodation establishments, let's use form DAE1A which is the daily and monthly recording of guests received by an accommodation establishment. Begin by writing the month and the year, then fill up the total number of rooms of your establishment. The table is arranged in an orderly manner to provide ease and comfort for the user. The first column shows the day of the month, the second column the day of the week. While succeeding columns are the room identification which can be adjusted depending on the number of rooms an establishment would have. To cite an example, on day 1, in room 3, two guests staying overnight. In room 4, one guest staying overnight. In room 6, two guests just arrived. In room 7, one guest also just arrived. And in room 8, one guest also just came in. To distinguish the new guest arrival for the day from the guest staying the previous day, encircle the number of new guests. At the end of the day, you can now fill up the columns. Number of guests checked in, which is the sum of encircled numbers. Number of guests staying overnight, which is the sum of all normal and encircled numbers. And finally, tally the number of rooms occupied by guests. The next day, the guest in room 3 did not stay overnight, while the guest in room 4 stayed overnight. In room 6, the guest from the previous day also did not stay, but the new guest arrived and used the room. In room 7 and 8, both guests stayed overnight, then two couples checked in using rooms 9 and 10 respectively. So tallying up for the day 2, number of guests checked in is 5. Number of guests staying overnight is 8, while number of rooms occupied is 6. Follow the same procedure to record your daily guest activity for the rest of the remaining days of the month to get the sum total of each column. To summarize, total number of guests checked in is, total number of guests staying overnight is, and total number of rooms occupied is, this information will now be summarized using form DAE2, which is the monthly report for demand statistics for accommodation establishment. Fill up the form by writing the appropriate information from the DAE1 or the daily and monthly record of guests received. To fill up the identification code, type, and classification, you may consult the tourism officer in your municipality or city. If you have computers, the process of daily recording can be automated using the Microsoft Excel template file DAE1A. This template is similar to the concept of the manual form DAE1A. Just input appropriate data daily. While in the manual DAE1, the number of guests checked in are encircled, here you just placed a letter C beside the number to differentiate it from the guest staying from the previous day. At the end of the month, just press Calculate, then the summary will be automatically generated. In addition, the template DAE1B provides for a monthly recording format on the distribution of guests. This was also developed by the DOT and JICA to help you record the registered guests according to their country of residence. The table grouped your guests into Philippine residents, referring to guests of Filipino nationality and foreign nationals permanently residing in the Philippines. Non-Philippine residents, referring to the guests who are residing abroad. These are grouped in accordance with the UNWTO classification. Overseas Filipinos, 
referring to guests who are Filipinos carrying Philippine passports but are permanently residing abroad. This group do not include overseas Filipino workers. Input the volume of guests in the appropriate group corresponding to their specific cell. Tally or put the number depending on your preference. To verify the correct number, the grand total of guest arrivals coming from total Philippine residents, total non-Philippine residents, total overseas Filipinos. The overall total should match the monthly total of guests checked in. Generating this table can be done manually using form DAE1B or electronically using the Microsoft Excel template. To report this to your local tourism officer, use Form AE, which is the report on the distribution of guests. With the supply and demand data gathered by your staff on a daily and monthly basis, you are now ready to Assess your performance Track down problem areas Improve on your profitability Develop new marketing programs Establish linkages and networks to further enhance the marketing of your facility in addition, you can also start sharing the data which you have collected to the local tourism office in your city or municipality as well as with the regional and national Department of Tourism. Manage your resources better. Know when to make aggressive promotions to market your establishment. Create objective business plans for future investments or expansion. Maximize your performance to meet the demands of your clients. As the saying goes, what gets measured, gets done. Together with your help, we are building a uniform and continuous tourism statistics database system that can provide proper perspective in policies and management decisions regarding tourism as a prime mover for development and growth. Your participation is the foundation to all of our success.